it's much appreciated. But yo, check it. It was styrofoam trays out of my trunk, making something out of nothing for what? Welcome to the Ebazo Show. Let's make something out of nothing. Today we have a creamy spinach stuffed chicken over a bed of mashed potatoes. Now I know that sounded a little cliche, but listen, this is a really good recipe. Honestly, the stuffed chicken is a meal all by itself, but we add a little razzle dazzle by putting over some mashed potatoes, even throw a little gravy on there. So y'all say this recipe, perfect for a weeknight, a date night, whatever you want. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn the notification bell on so you never miss another one, and let's get right into the recipe. All right, here we have it. This is our final product. Y'all can't even tell me this doesn't look like a five-star meal. The chicken glistening, broccolini in the back. These are ingredients for the day. The ingredients are shockingly pretty affordable. So if you want to really wow somebody or create a more fine dining style meal on a budget, this is your go-to. So first, we're going to go ahead and make our mashed potatoes. Boil the potatoes. Just cut them up, add some water, put them on the stove. Everybody knows how to boil potatoes. Just cook them until they fork tender. All right, now it's time to do a little slicing and dicing. Lay your chicken breast flat on the cutting board, make an incision, and then cut slowly. Try to find some thicker chicken breasts. It will make the step a little easier. You don't want to cut too far and then leave the bottom open. This is what it should look like, a nice pocket to keep all your filling nice and warm. Now it's time to get into the good old filling. In my opinion, the best part about stuffed chicken. So a bowl, we're gonna add in eight ounces of softened cream cheese, then throw in about a cup of frozen chopped spinach. Make sure it's thawed so it don't end up all watery. Add the lemon into the juicer. Apparently I'm doing this wrong. I don't know, it's supposed to be face up, face down. Somebody told I was doing it wrong by it being face up, but y'all can see the lemon juice went everywhere. Cut half of a lemon, squeeze it with your hands. It's gonna be easier. Then we're gonna add in some shredded Parmesan cheese. After that, we gotta hit it with the salt and pepper. I love these little holders for them. Now we're gonna throw in some dried oregano or Italian seasoning, whichever you have. Next, hit it with a little garlic powder. We're gonna season this up really good, y'all. We want the filling to be very tasty. After that, we're gonna throw in some onion powder. And of course, for color, we gotta throw in just a little paprika or smoked paprika. Smoked paprika does taste a little better, so if you never had it before, try it out. And just start giving that a really good mix. Make sure everything is well incorporated. All right, this is what it should end up looking like. Now, I'm gonna give y'all a little tip. If you wanted to take it right here, throw it in the oven, add some cheese on top, grab some chips, you got a really good spinach dip. Y'all welcome. Now we're getting back to our chicken breasts. As you can see, we have the same exact seasoning that we used on the spinach. Just really get in there, season them really good. As y'all can see on the screen, I do have some pretty large chicken breasts, so we're not getting shy with the seasoning here. We want our food to taste delicious. So after you get both sides, then we're gonna take our spinach filling and begin stuffing it. As you can see, I didn't really season the inside of the cut because the spinach mixer is already seasoned. Now, when I say stuff these, I mean stuff it. I want y'all to grab as much of that spinach filling as you can and stuff it, stuff it, stuff it until it cannot be stuffed no more. We want it real thick. Don't let y'all minds wander too much. But as you can see, we got a really good stuffing in here. Chicken is gonna be delicious. So to a pan on medium, medium high heat, add in some olive oil and then add in your chicken breast. The goal here is to get a really nice sear on the outside of the chicken. It should come out looking something just like this. And a little tip, if you don't stuff them as big, you could add a toothpick to kind of hold everything together so that your stuffing doesn't fall out. But as you can see, this is how they should end up looking. Transfer them to a different pan and get them ready to go into the oven to finish cooking all the way through. And then get started on your broccolini. To a pan, add in some olive oil, medium, medium high heat again. Give your broccolini some space in the pan. Cook them for a few minutes on each side until they get a nice sear. And that's pretty much it. Now, I don't know if y'all know, but broccolini and broccoli are two different things. The best way I can describe broccolini is a sweet, broccoli mixed with asparagus so it's not as soft as broccoli but you cook it really quickly it tastes good i just threw on a little lemon juice now i'm sprinkling it with a little garlic powder less is more in my opinion when it comes to broccolini you can throw some balsamic glaze on there whatever you want just set those to the side i hope you don't think i forgot about the mashed potatoes once you cook them and they fork tender drain the water and then we're going to add in some garlic paste I prefer garlic paste because it blends in really good. Sometimes minced garlic can get a little gritty if you don't mince it up fine enough. Then we added in some good old melted butter. 
Then we're gonna hit it with some heavy cream. And then we gotta hit it with the sour cream. How you think you get mashed potatoes creamy? We got the heavy cream and the sour cream. Then we're gonna throw in some of that good old salt and then hit it with some of that freshly cracked black pepper and then some chopped up chives. Now we just gotta mash the potatoes. As y'all can see, I have an official tissue potato masher right here. You really can use two wooden spoons. That's kind of what I used to use. Put them in the pot, do a little ta 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 until they're nice and mashed up. I prefer them a little more chunky. I like a little potato bite mixed in with the smooth and creaminess. So this is how we're gonna do them. But do them how you want. If you like them finely mashed, that's up to you. Y'all see, we got a really nice white plate the creamy, chunky mashed potatoes on there. I'm trying to give y'all a little fine dining, five-star replica recipe, but affordable. Lay that beautiful piece of chicken on there. Y'all see the stuffing oozing all out. Throw in that broccolini, or honestly, if broccoli is more affordable or what you prefer, you can do that. I threw a little gravy on there. The gravy was just the sauce from baking the chicken. We got a little lemon for garnish. Take a bite, and that's it. All right, y'all. It's much appreciated. But yo, check it. It was styrofoam trays out of my trunk. Making something out of nothing for what the people 